Let me tell you the story about how I landed the six-figure project. Last takes take one, soft sticks mark. I have a friend named Mitch, he's a great script writer. He was commissioned by this company to write some scripts and because me and him had a good relationship and we've worked together in the past, he knew that we would be able to pull off the production. So he reached out, introed us to the client and here we are on set making it happen right now. I think this is just evidence of why it is important to have a great reputation and connections in the industry. Because we've done good work in the past, other creatives trusted us and because we've given them work and opportunities, when they had something come along their way that they needed support on, he reached out to us. And so I think it really is a testament to having great relationships, doing good work, and just trusting that there's more than enough work to go around. Got my water bottle. What's up guys? Day one of our Zaf production today. And right now, we're kind of filming it out of order, but this is the middle of the ad when all chaos breaks loose. All these lawyers are running out of this courthouse and then sprinting all over to get to this ambulance. So it's been fun. We had a bigger turnout than we thought. We have a ton of lawyers and it's been freaking chaos, but everything's so funny. We're like laughing after every single shot. So it's going super well. Okay, so we're on set for Zaf today and absolutely loving every second. The team is awesome. The clients are out there sprinting with all of our lawyers and it's just been really cool to get a bunch of talent in a congested place and just have them go out of control. It's been really fun, everybody's been great. <laughs> hey, you guys are going on the YouTube, man. Yeah, maybe the bush jump will go on the YouTube. The bush jump. All right, so I think the best part was for sure the first half of the day. Definitely. Like, I love the parking garage. I love them running out of the government building yeah. and the coffee thing. What did you think of the crosswalk? Crosswalk was amazing. The, the close-up shot. Yeah, I really I, liked the crosswalk. Um, I liked Ty's idea when they all like, they're like running up to it right as it's like three, two, one. And then there's like their faces right there. It looked really, really yeah. fun. And the fact that we got that car shot we wanted was Ooh. crazy. That was insane. Like just like so having them, yeah, exactly. Just seeing like a close up of all like the suits just running past, kind of just feeling like race cars. I can't wait really to edit it. What did you say, Parker? I can't wait to edit it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're here on set, location number two, and this is where all the lawyers are gonna be converging on an ambulance. We have our old broken down car here, which is really cool. Our client had a connection. So we're able to get this here. Looks like an actual car scene, car wreck scene. And we're gonna have the ambulance kind of parked right here. So when we shoot, they're gonna be coming from the parking lot and kind of converging on this space. Yes, we know it's a lone car, broken down car in a parking lot, but we couldn't get multiple cars that crashed into each other. That's what we got going on. So we finished setting up just kind of the general vibe. Our gaffer, our makeup artist and talent are all gonna be arriving soon. And for from there, that's when things get crazy and we'll see if we can pull this off because the rain's here and that's just what we're dealing with right now. Are we doing some pre-production 30 minutes before we start shooting? Yes. Shot listing, baby. Don't you love it? I'll say this once. It wouldn't be a film lab production if we weren't doing it 20 minutes before. So we're effective. We're going to put a couple of veins in our heads and we're going to have a killer time doing it, guys. I don't see what the big deal is. We're still going to get there on time. That's me. <laughs> 
It's over. <laughs> that one was a good one. You're doing great. Man. I just don't want to miss it. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. We're good on time. All right, so we're here, last scene with the entire crew. We're just trying to get them all snap their heads in unison. Okay. It's more challenging than you think to get this. 20 people to do that. Yeah, I feel good about that. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Wait, shut up. Sorry. Are you kidding me? I'd like to represent you in your personal injury case. Oh, I already have Zaf though. We've got another Zaf user. that camera <laughs> we are commandeering the rest of lab takes so recently we have gotten a client who wants us to go all out with a podcast setup we're actually setting up the cameras inside of a tesla so obviously setting up in a tesla can be really challenging because i've never done that before me you? neither yeah no. So Crazy. we had to mount the cameras inside the windshield. And so what, we, what we're using in there is we're using suction cups to basically attach these massive C70s inside the car. And then we're wiring all the cords through the car. One of the biggest challenges we had during the shoot, the first day we set up, was it was a downpour. And so Tal and I had this tent set up and we're holding on to the tent for dear life because it's blowing away throughout the entire shoot. It was crazy. So if you come over, oh wait, yeah, you have a 50 mil. Yeah, let me just back up a bit. Okay, so let me show you what we have going on here. We have my laptop. We're gonna be probably running audio through this as well as through this for redundancy because audio is the most important part, even when we're doing the sick Tesla podcast. We have the A10 Mini Pro ISO that we are gonna be monitoring all the cameras through, at least two of the cameras because one of the cameras we forgot an HDMI cable. And then you turn over here, you see the Tesla, Tesla Model 3. We're gonna be switching from Model 3 to Model X pretty soon here, which is gonna be really exciting. But inside of the Tesla, we have two C70s, a Sony A6600. We got the Shure SM7Bs. We are running those out through cables into all of our workstation right here. And yeah, I think, I think it's a pretty good setup. Can you show us inside the car? Yes, we can. So yeah. as you can see, there's the A6600, some of the Canon C70s. We got C70 in there. Got another one and another one. Another one. That's three cameras and one Tesla. That's the setup. We're super excited. And it's raining also. It's like a full downpour right now. And Mike brought this canopy. Thank goodness. One of the best things about this shoe is we were right here at this building. And so we could call on the rest of the team if we needed help. We could run inside and get gear if we needed it. And so honestly, it all came together really well and it looks great. 
It was a super crazy day. I don't think anything could have prepared us for what we had to figure out on set, but that's the best part about it is trying to figure out ways to make things happen. And we're so grateful to be able to work with amazing clients who give us the opportunity to be creative in those ways and push the boundaries of what we can do at Film Lab. It's just fun to learn and grow, put ourselves in different environments, stretch ourselves creatively, and make something that is truly beautiful. And it's really fun working on a project like Tesla Talks. It was so cool. We learned so much during the shoot and we can't talk for long because we're technically not supposed to be here. <laughs> Run! <laughs> I feel like John Moran, need a triple double, told him check the stats, yeah.